9th of January, 1936. Talk number 196. A visitor asked about the three methods mentioned in Ramana Gita, Chapter 2. Maharshi pointed out, that breath retention is an aid to control of mind, that is, suppression or annihilation of thoughts. One person may practice breath control, inhalation, exhalation and retention, or retention only. Still another type of practicing meditator on controlling the mind controls the breath and its retention automatically results. Watching the inhalation and exhalation is also breath control. These methods are only apparently threefold. They are in fact really one, because they lead to the same goal. They are, however, differently adopted according to the stage of the aspirant and one's antecedent predisposition or tendencies. Really, there are only two methods inquiry and devotion. One leads to the other. Devotee, on seeking the eye, there is nothing to be seen. Maharshi, because you are accustomed to identify yourself with the body, the sight with the eyes, therefore you say you do not see anything. What is there to be seen? Who is to see? How to see? There is only one consciousness, which, manifesting as I thought, identifies itself with the body, projects itself through the eyes, and sees the objects around. The individual is limited in the waking state and expects to see something different. The evidence of his senses will be the seal of authority. But... One will not admit that the seer, the seen, and the sight are all manifestations of the same consciousness, namely, I, I. Contemplation helps one to overcome the illusion that the self must be visual. In truth, there is nothing visual. How do you feel the I now? Do you hold a mirror before you to know your own being? The awareness is the I. Realize it, and that is the truth. Devotee, on inquiry into the origin of thoughts, there is a perception of I, but it does not satisfy me. Maharshi, quite right. The perception of I is associated with a form, maybe the body. There should be nothing associated with the pure self. The self is unassociated, pure reality, in whose light the body, the ego, etc. shine. Unstilling all thoughts, the pure consciousness remains over. Just on waking from sleep and before becoming aware of the world, there is that pure I, I. Hold to it without sleeping or without allowing thoughts to possess you. If that is held firm, it does not matter even though the world is seen. The seer remains unaffected by the phenomena.